hey guys and welcome back to another video so in this video series we would be learning about triggers in salesforce okay basically what is a trigger so a trigger is an apex script that executes before and after data manipulation event occurs okay what is your data manipulation so guys basically data manipulation operations can be insert update delete okay so uh, these are termed as your data manipulation uh, operations where your data is being manipulated okay or new like for example in in the case of insert what we do is we add a new data to the database in case of update condition if our value matches that criteria for an update like for example we want to update a person's address from city a and now he has shifted to city b so for that matter a person should be all already present in your database in order to fetch that in order to update that thing okay and in the case of delete operation uh, you are just simply deleting uh, the data of the user from the database okay so these operations on triggers they are referred to as trigger events so what are your trigger events these are before insert like first of all we are verifying our data before inserting like for example whether our uh, whether the name person with the same name exists in the database or not or with the same email or something of that kind we are uh, checking in this kind of operation okay don't worry uh, we would also be understanding a demo uh, code for this also so there comes the after insert what is your after insert like for example say whenever an account is created we want to create the related opportunities with that as well so we can do a uh, with after insert operation basically what does or why uh, why do we use triggers is to implement the process of automation because we want multiple repetitive things to be done on their own so we write an apex script generally of this kind so that we could fulfill our those needs from that script okay same is the case with before update after update before delete as well as after delete these also uh, are based upon certain criteria and conditions that you provide or that gets fulfilled by the end user and thereupon uh those this script runs and we see the desired output okay so what is the trigger syntax so if we see around here is your trigger name and this trigger name could be any name guys a b c d or something uh, of your choice but what does the coding convention say is that it should be according uh, to uh, the thing that you are doing okay like uh, if you are you adding an opportunity to account so you can uh, work around with that like account with opportunity or something of that kind on object like on what object do you want to perform this operation on account contact opportunity opportunity line item so here you would specify your object name and the type of trigger it is that would it fire on before event or it would fire on after event okay inside goes your code okay like for example this is a trigger the name of this trigger is account custom trigger that is on account and the operation here used is before insert so it would be checking or it would be uh, uh, running in your before context before your data is being actually saved to your database okay and for this it is taking as for account acc in trigger dot new okay so it is this account this account is your entire object and this is working in your trigger dot new okay and it is checking that if your account dot industry is not equal to null and account dot industry is of type banking or it is of healthcare then populate the rating as hot 
okay what does it tell you that if your industry is not null and your industry field is within your banking industry or your healthcare industry then populate the rating as hot so how to visualize this code is guys let me so for this we are on to our paint and let us assume that this is your account object that you um, get when you log into your salesforce account so in here there are various fields like name field uh, rating field industry field there are several other kinds of field like uh, email mailing city mailing state etc etc so when we write account acc in trigger dot new so what does this mean this account acc in trigger dot new means the new value that we are adding okay or the new or the data that a person is sending either uh, through the ui or through your data loader okay so for uh, data loader part uh, just for now understand that we are just running it from the ui in the data loader part we would be covering separate in the separate video okay and it is saying that if your industry field this field is not equal to null and it contains uh, industry as healthcare or banking industry then automatically your rating should be hot okay we are not uh, touching this rating auto uh, by any way we are just checking over this industry field that it if it contains the desired value then our rating should be according to that and there is also a null check that if we are rating is not null so in this way our trigger works okay and this is just a small trigger for you all to understand the working of a trigger or how behind the scene things work out for you all okay so with this i hope you all understood this video and if you want to have more such videos for this kind do subscribe to our channel because we would be posting more such content so thanks for watching